guys i'm just messing around with a little rhythm here a little couple rhythm triad ideas that i'm gonna show you in just a second um man i hope everybody's doing great i know it's been almost a week uh since i've done a video which is unusual uh these days man it's just so busy our heads are about to explode we've put on a a lot of uh, stuff on our plate man but we've executed some amazing projects uh and, and it just keeps coming man uh, i think that um we're all just super happy here man i think me and my friends uh, who you know, our little crew that we've developed here, um, Tom Bukovac, Jed Hughes, Jack Roosh, uh, you know, uh, Rob McNally, some of the guys that are, that not, might necessarily, not, might not necessarily have YouTube channels or anything like that, but man, they're, they're Nashville notables and, and they're playing on tons of records and, you know, Rob and Tom are both up for CMA Musician of the Year, as well as uh, some other really good friends of ours. And man, it just feels good to be a part of something that after working for so long, and it's, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's been good since the beginning. I mean, I've had some ups and downs in Nashville, but man, things are hitting really good. We've got this really nice community that we've got now um, that we've developed uh, up to this point, but it's been, it's taken a lot of work. And I, I understand what people mean when they say, oh yeah, it's an overnight success that took, you know, 15 or 20 years, you know, and, and man, it is, it's just a lot of work behind the scenes it's 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 having ebbs and flows of being super motivated and inspired and, and maybe not so much you know and and feeling like you're struggling and you're beating your head against the wall for nothing and sometimes you do want to quit sometimes you do want to walk away sometimes you go man is this all worth it what am i doing what are we doing and then you keep doing it and then it gets really good it's good 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 and then when you get to the point of, I think where we're at now at 45 years old and Uncle Larry's 10 years older than me and Jed's a little younger than me and, and, and Jack's maybe a little younger, we're all about the same age, you know, but it seems like around that time, if you don't give up, it's almost like the big test has been, you know, passed or something, you know, it, it, I don't know what it is, but it feels really good. And, and um, you know we don't want we don't want to just be on YouTube creating content or Instagram or whatever. We if we're going to do this, part of my pact to the world and the art form of music is, um, uh, you know, uh, is if we're going to be doing this social media shit, we've got to be out there doing uh, what it, what the point of all of this is in the in the long run is playing music. We got to be out there playing music with our friends. We have to go out and take this music out into the world and share it with some people. If that's what we're talking about on all this stuff, then it, it doesn't make any sense to not be making records and playing live gigs. All this other stuff doesn't matter. It's like, you know, it's like you're reading all the recipes and buying all the uh, cooking supplies and never cooking anything, you know, or, or having a cooking show and, and never feeding anybody. You know, I mean, these are the kind of things that we got to do. I, I swear to God, I'm the happiest in my life when I'm up there on stage playing, you know, my music or really good music with really good friends. And there's nobody telling us what to do. And we've got creative freedom and we're able to just say what we want to say on the instrument, you know. And so I know that's a little spiel and a, and a rant like always here, folks. But, you know, you're going to get a little bit of that here with a, with a, a YouTube channel like this. And so um, a couple things, you know. Um, uh, the guitar party next week for Americana Fest. Rob McNelly, Jed Hughes, Jack Roosh, Tom Bukovac, Nick Goverick, myself, um, with Jordan Pearlson and Tim Marks, and uh, some amazing, amazing rhythm sections and organ trios with Jack and Rob, their respective rhythm sections. Um, 
Uh, and then we've got the three nights in New York City. Uh, we've, sponsor, uh, we've sponsored up with um, Dingo Boots. Uh, Jed's wife, Allison, works with Dingo Boots, and so we've sponsored up on that. They're, they're partnering with us. So we're starting to get some momentum on this stuff, man. It's starting to get really good. We're looking at Chicago. We're looking at talking to some booking agents that can get us out there to do uh, this kind of variety show that we've got to, to come to your town. And so, look, man, I'm not going to talk a whole lot on here. Um, I got some other stuff to do. We're inducting John Oates into the BMI uh, Troubadour Award show Monday. So I've got a scratch band put together. Greg Morrow, Steve Mackey, Russ Paul, myself, Tom Bukovac, Jimmy Wallace. We're backing up AJ Croce, Molly Tuttle, uh, a bunch of guests that are going to be there uh, at this thing doing a bunch of uh, Oates songs and honoring him, right? We did Billy last year. We're going to do John Oates. And so um, that's going to be a really fun weekend. Then I can kind of chill a little bit. All right. Oh my God. But um, it never stops, man, and that's just what we do, and, and we're lucky we get to do what we love to do for a living. And, man, we, we, we can't thank you guys uh, enough. You guys are directly involved as a part of this. And so with that being said, I will push up on you a little bit. Check the links below. Check out the tip jug. That hasn't had much love lately. Um, and we are busy, man. We're some, we, we are, it's busy up here. And so um, we do appreciate that. That helps. Another thing is check out the newsletter. Man, I love putting these newsletter blogs with Ashley together. We just did one today. Um, it's, not, it's not trying to sell you anything. These are just cool, fun things that we love to do. So go to GuthrieTrap.com. Please sign up for the newsletter and the mailing list. We're not going to wear you out. We're going to send you some cool stuff. We're not trying to sell you t-shirts, and we're not trying to sell you all this stuff. Uh, maybe a little bit of that. But... All right, again, folks, sorry for such a long a long rant, but it's been a week, and i got to catch up on everything. And those of you that hang in there and listen to this to get to the guitar stuff, you know who you are, and I appreciate it. Um, and I think we've done a pretty good job of weeding out the riffraff uh, on these channels. I mean, we're just we're eliminating anybody that says anything negative, right? So uh, leave that up to us. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, look, these are these are rhythm triads. As you can see, that was a little A dominant seven. I'm starting off with a reoccurring kind of a theme here. So I might take a couple different spots, spots uh, and, and parts. And so instead of doing just this, okay, that's kind of boring. Don't forget, you got an A seven here. You've got an A seven here. You've got an A seven here. You've got an A seven here. You got an A9, you've got this cool voicing, you've got this, there's A7s all over the place. And so this is a move that I think a lot of you guys get a little confused with. This is definitely something, this little, and this is going to serve you well for blues country, it just doesn't matter, but that's a, that's a dominant seven hammer on triad. So I'm, I'm going to go, I'm using the B string, D string, and G string. So it's like a C triad, but I'm hammering on that major third, and that's what gives you. That's hard to do though, so I'll break it down. You can use E minor triad, D, A7, three strings. Don't forget, only three strings. Now I'm hitting the A bass note open so you can hear that, but that's three strings. You can also play a, um, make sure that's right, that G there, right? That's a G triad or an E minor. So here's the G. Here's E minor. minor will be more along the lines of this. The G would be more along the lines of a little more of a sus sort of sound, I think, right? So what I'm doing is I'm taking the, the to get back to the beginning of this riff, and I did two different ones, I'll show you, but it's all about the timing. Your phrasing has to time out right. They have to fit in the groove um, really, really well. That's the whole point of this whole thing. Mm. So the, it, the rhythm, it's all about the rhythm. So I'm seeing a lot of guys that, that are having some trouble with their timing. And you just got to get back to this, man. If you, 
if you're having trouble with that, you just got to keep doing it. That's Jimmy Reed. That's Texas Blues Shuffle. You got to have that. Okay, so that is just, you know, numero uno on, on groove, right? Okay, so getting back to this, this little funky kind of thing here. I'm taking A, and then I'm playing A7. Just that triad, right? That's your D shape. There's your A7. So I'm sliding in. Then right to my A, all on G, B, and, and uh, E strings, right? Now I'm going to grab this G shape, uh, G chord, C shape, but just the D, G, and B strings. So it's all going to be on groups of three strings, but I'm moving them around pretty quickly. So I'm going to go first set. Right, so that's just sliding the A7 little triad. Then the G, D, A7 on the D, G, and B string, right? So all together, that would sound like... there I want to keep that that going so it's interesting right so I'm gonna go so that's a little D over A so this whole thing's over A right the bass player's going uh, something funky in A, right? But he's not changing chords. So I'm going to go. Now, G-shaped D. But that works because it's so fast. It works, right? So, so like one, two, three, four. There's that hammer on. You don't want anything else to speak other than that triad right there. So again. it all together so if I was counting that it would be like this one two everything together three uh, one two three four you know that's the idea so you can even have some sort of alternate ending where it was a call and response even more but that's pretty good man and that's one three different parts right so there's the first part second part third part fourth one two three right that's pretty cool now check this out then I went um, I changed it up a little bit. I hit this bass note. So now I'm changing it to where I'm, I'm actually hitting the root of A, the, the A bass note. So I had to change up my, my rhythm a little bit because I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. It's... Uh, that here's the first part second part third part 
fourth bar. So the part that I want you to understand about this is it's a reoccurring pattern that you can improvise on a little bit, right? There's different things you can do. Um, you can put little pentatonic lines and things in there as long as they fit the rhythm. You never want to sacrifice the rhythm. As soon as I did something that took me off of the rhythm, um, I got people in the band looking at me like, what is wrong with this guy? We don't want that. Uh, there's also a bunch of other cool vo voicings you can use. I mean, this is a great, if you take an F, F sharp minor and raise that, that bass note, well, now I've got a, a cool A9 chord. I'm sorry, that's an A13. But that's the voicing. It's the same as this, except it's... That's really cool. That's a nice shuffle chord. There's your A, thir a your, your A9. Your James Brown. Here's your, okay, you know. Here's a little six. There's your big one. you can do so um have fun with that but don't forget when you're doing this i see a lot of guys mess this up that's it it's not it's not you know or or in any kind of you know it's it's just that's what you, you want has to be really clean. E minor. D. And that's your A. Okay, guys, you know what? I gotta, I gotta stop. Um, uh, I gotta go do a couple things there. I gotta learn some John Oates songs, and then there's a couple things this evening I gotta get going before I get behind here. But um, I did wanna do a little video just to ramp into the weekend. It's gonna be a little crazy. We're going to the McLaren car race with John Oates tomorrow. He's taking me as his guest. We're gonna go check out some race cars, and uh, who knows where that'll lead to. Um, but man, it's been ever since May 1st when we released the In Stereo record, it's been absolutely nonstop. We've executed the uh, new Artist Works course. We did the King of the Hill soundtrack music. We did uh, the Two Nights at Third and Lindsley. We got the record released. We got it up on Spotify and iTunes and 10 other platforms. We got New York City sold out. We got the basement sold out. We've got everything sold out. Everything's hitting. Uh, so I've never been happier and more busy in Nashville in all my life. Everything we're doing is, is successful, which is so much fun as a musician. You know, most musicians are just... People think we're like, like drunk laying in gutters, uh, you know, sleeping until three o'clock every day. We don't do that all the time. No, I'm just kidding. We don't do that ever anymore. And so, um, you know, it's big, it's it's uh, it's getting to be pretty pretty nice little business that we have here that we're running. And so, uh, thanks to you guys, definitely check out the uh, private lessons to take any of this stuff further and to tailor it to your needs. Um, definitely check out the different uh, half day and full day Nashville guitar immersion experiences. Um, definitely check out all that stuff. So thanks, guys. Love you. You know who you are. It means the world to us. Telecasting to you from East Nashville, Tennessee. Old GT here signing off. Thanks, guys. Cheers.